Hi, I'm now going to show you the web app for WePad, which is the web view for a resident. A resident is able to log in on their um, computer viewing the web app. They're also able to log in to the Android app on their mobile phone or to the iOS app on their Apple phone. When I sign in, the first thing I will see as a resident is my dashboard. Here I'll be able to see any of the information that is current to my situation. I have a delivery that needs to be picked up. There's an electricity fault that I have reported and there's a building modification that I have requested. And these, this information will all appear here for me. I'm also able to see any of the current announcements for today um, and any of the services I can click on directly from here. Another thing is I'll be able to go into my calendar and have a look at all my events. You can see here that my rent is due on the 1st of May and here I can also see there's an electricity fault. Today I reported it so um, it's a to-do um, maintenance request. There's also a booking for tomorrow for the outdoor pool which is currently pending and I'm able to approve that directly from here but I will approve it from the page further down. Um, and then I'm able to go through each month and see anything that's on my calendar um, all together. Now I'd if I'd like to see any of my current announcements, I can see them here. I can also view any of the past announcements. I can go into my amenities and see the amenities that are currently available and obviously book any amenity that I want. Um, if the building manager has booked an amenity for me, then you can see here it's still pending and I'm able to go in and confirm it. And if there was a charge for this amenity, then straight away that would be charged. But you can see that this is now confirmed. And now on my calendar, it will be showing as confirmed. Any delivery notifications, you can see I've been notified here that there's a delivery waiting for me. Flowers, I need to go pick them up. Um, and where I need to pick them up is the front desk. I can also see any special instructions that have been created by me or um, for me. And um, these are the special instructions that are currently on my system. Any maintenance requests, this one has been created. It's an electricity fault. And I've requested the um, building manager take care of this. Um, and if I would like to do any home modification requests, I'm able to add one here. And this then will need to be approved by the landlord and by the owners association before it can be done. Once that has been approved, then I'll be able to create a contractor permit for the contractors who will come to do that home modification. I'm able to see an overview of my profile with all the information from my general personal vehicle details, park pet details, lease details, and the occupants who are living here. I'm able to see any payments that have been made, any documents that are added to the system. My credit card will also be here. The credit card details are not held on WePad system, but rather in a payment gateway. We have used Stripe payment gateway. Um, I'm also able to see my move in form and my move out form. If I'd like to see my community notice board, you can see here, this is um, the community notice board that's available. And here you can like things, you can um, reply to them, you can create your own community notice board, um, or you can comment on particular, on particular things. So here I'd like to comment, sure, and just send it along and then it will appear. Um, I'm also able to obviously chat particularly with my building manager. So this is the building manager and I can say, hi there, I need some help and send that along. They will be notified and then we know that um, we can have a chat between us um, and any of my notifications are over here. So I'm able to see and be up to date with all the things that are happening in the system. And um, yeah, that is the um, pro that is the um, resident uh, use of the web app.